Hey old Keys and Dilip here back with another advanced OBS tutorial and today we're gonna to be looking at adding an EQ to any audio input so mainly a microphone inside of OBS so you can kind of just get the best sounding mic possible this is only one of the filters that you should be using on your mic I'm not gonna go in depth with all the different filters that you should be using like compressors etc there are other videos out there which I'm probably gonna do one myself later on as well but before we get into it like the video and also subscribe for any future OBS and stream related tips, okay? Put your rock over the stone, let's go! Right, so to get the EQ, it's not actually built into OBS at the moment. Make sure you are on the most up-to-date version of OBS because I don't know when VST plugins was allowed on OBS. So just make sure you're up-to-date and everything like that. And we're going to jump to this website just here. This is Reaper.fm. The link is going to be in the description down below. This is only available for Windows. So you're going to hit download here, whether you're using 32-bit or 64-bit. I'm going to hit 64-bit. It's going to download an EXC. You're just going to open that up. Uh, and allow it to run on your device, hit I agree, and go through here. These are all the different plugins it's going to install for you. You should just leave it all as standard, hit next, 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 and complete that. I'm not going to do it now because I've already got it installed. Once all that is done, you're going to head over into OBS, and we're going to take a little look where these plugins will have been installed. You can see I've got my microphone just down here. If I hit the settings cog down at the bottom and I go to advanced audio properties, this is the most important thing to do when you're changing any sound on your device at all. So you're going to go to mic, turn monitoring on. Um, so you can leave it on monitor uh, and output if you want to. That just means that you'll be able to still hear what I'm doing. So I'm going to put monitor and output on and I can hear myself with a little bit of delay. Uh, that is completely normal, don't worry about that, but it's just for you to learn what you're actually going to sound like. So I've just got one headphone in. If I hit the cog again and go to filters, you can see I've already got a few different filters set up for what I'm using right now. And I want to add in an EQ, so I hit the plus. Go down to VST2, and then just call it whatever, I'm just going to call this EQ test. And then you'll get a drop down menu of all the plugins that you've got installed after installing Reaper. If it's not there, make sure you do restart OBS, uh, close it, open it, and also restart your computer, and it should be there afterwards. Go to, uh, we want a EQ, so we want re-EQ standalone. Open that up. Nothing will happen. You need to press on the little button at the bottom saying open plugin interface, and you'll be able to see, as I'm talking, the EQ band. This, I don't want to get in depth with how this works, because all the settings are going to be different for every microphone and every setup, okay? So it's just about listening to yourself and working out what is going to be the best sound. For me, I like to boost the highs a little bit to make it a little bit more crisp. You can probably hear, if I do this and I'm still talking, the different sounds will happen, okay? So I usually like to boost the crisp highs just there and also add a couple of lows as well to, to kind of just beef up my audio a little bit. So you will notice that that's changed there. There's a lot of different settings in there that you can fiddle about with. Like I say, I'm not going to go in depth with that because it's different for everybody's setup. And to be honest, there's no right and wrong answer to any of that. It's literally, if you think it sounds good, that's all that matters. Like, there's, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. If you think your voice sounds good in that plugin and that effect, then that's fine. It's the same when I do music recording. People say, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that. I'm just like, if it sounds good, it sounds good, right? That's probably a bad outlook to have on it. <laughs> um, if for any reason you're, you can't really work out how you're listening, like I'm still listening now and there's a delay, what you can do is start recording as well. So rather than pressing start streaming um, and, and sending stuff to your Twitch channel, you can actually just press start recording, which is just down in the bottom here that I'm using just there and that'll record straight to your hard drive and it means that you can listen back to it and go oh okay I need to add a bit more bass or take a little bit off and you can mess around with it like that so just fiddle about a bit until you find something that sounds good for you hopefully this has helped you if you've got any questions let me know in the comments below or come and visit me at twitch.tv slash andylippy make sure you like the video to help the YouTube algorithm thing and also subscribe okay for any future content put your rock over the stone and I'll see you soon